All right, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up. Uh, I've probably got, I don't know, at least 100 candles. I'd like to do a little bit more than that. I've got an order to fill for uh, a work with client, basically. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also gonna do uh, some for the website and basically just get my stock back up. So I'm gonna go ahead, start setting up here and uh, just kind of go through, I'm trying to do as many as possible today. I've got the day off, so I'm gonna take full advantage. And basically, not really in the, I guess it would be a, a day in the life of. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start setting things up. set up I'm gonna go ahead and place the wicks and then we're gonna go ahead and secure all these wicks with red RTV which is a construction adhesive it's a very high temp construction adhesive and in these I'm using the 8 ounce jelly jar and I'm using for the wick, I've got the HTP 104 going into each of these. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll notice, uh, or you probably know, uh, and if you don't know, I use just a ballpoint pen casing. I just took the pen out of that and I use that to place the wicks. Uh, it works much better than trying to guide it in there with just your hands or anything else. And then for that, I just put a little bit of a drop on the bottom of that, push it down lightly in the center. And then after about, and I'm gonna give these probably about two hours cause I don't need to have them done right away. So I'll let these sit for a little bit longer than an hour, maybe close to two hours. And this adhesive is gonna stick to the bottom of these glasses uh, like cement. Th these wicks aren't going anywhere, which is definitely something you wanna pay attention to uh, when you're securing your wicks because securing your wicks with something like hot glue uh, or even the wax itself it can be a bad idea definitely the wax itself is a bad idea because once the candle burns down to the bottom of the jar it's gonna get really hot and if that wick isn't secure it's just gonna move around uh, and a lot of wicks can just move to the side of a jar like that and then it will just burn right up the side of the glass So we got these out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and move these jars out of the way to make way for the next set of 48 to put, to put wicks in. So that's pretty much it with these. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for, I'm, I'm gonna give them about two hours and then during that time, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the, uh, uh, the Presto Pot Melter. I'm gonna set up two of them so I can pour at the same time. Uh, the Presto Pots, I'm gonna go ahead and show you those here in a second, but those make a huge difference, especially uh, when you're pouring this many candles at one time. All right, the other thing I'm trying to do right now while I'm waiting for these is I'm going through, uh, I've gotta order stuff from uh, the supplier, so I've gotta get, wax and I'm going through my fragrances to see what I need to catch up on. So basically I just start going through these uh, and start finding ones that are low. I've got a few actually that I need to catch up on.
All right, so I'm switching cameras. Uh, I hate to do it, but I've got to run to Walmart to get some stuff uh, for shipping out products today. So we're heading out there. I've got to wait about two hours, about two hours to let those things cure. So uh, this is actually a perfect time to get out there and try to handle some things while that stuff is setting, because I can't really do anything right now. All right, so quick stop at Starbucks. Now we're heading to Walmart. All right, so they only had two of them. I was trying to get three. I only need two of them. So now I gotta head back home. Actually gotta pick up the spout for them and then uh, convert these over so I can ship them out. But one more quick stop at Lowe's so I can get some spouts for the melters. They raised the price on them. So I got these things home now. It's time to start converting these things over to melters. I hate to do it these candles are still waiting to cure or the wicks anyway so I gotta run those packages to the post office so as soon as I come back as soon as I get back I'm gonna start pouring these things and we'll get those going all right so it's off to the post office to drop these things off I got a little kitty are you ready all right so post office also, print your shipping labels at home. I use PayPal for mine. It makes it so much easier than having to deal with the post office. I can't stand going in there. Uh, so yes, print it at home. The line was like 15 people deep in there. So printing at home and just walking in and dropping off, you can't beat that. These things are about done. Uh, it's been a good two hours, probably a little bit more than that. I have to go through and check my uh, uh, my timestamp on this thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and package uh, half of these away just so I can get them out of the way and then I'm gonna start pouring the other half. using this red RTV uh, construction adhesive is you can really yank on these wicks and this they're not going anywhere those things are cemented down into the bottom all right I've already poured this first set I'm gonna go ahead and start lining up more and run down the line
so that's pretty much it. I've poured 72 candles. Uh, it's right around five, what is it? 517, uh, still going. I've got, I don't know, maybe one more set to pour. I've only got two sets of boxes left to do. I think I'm gonna pick those up in the morning, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the labels on this stuff and then just kind of pack stuff up for the day.